let's first put a wrap on the week that was with another edition of Top Plays. Let's start with the top three teams in EPC girls basketball, beginning with the Parkland Trojans, who got a game-high 21 points from forward Maddie Siggins last Monday, embracing past rival Emmaus. Siggins' height and physicality underneath just too much for the Green Hornets to handle. The senior put up a dozen in the first half, including eight in the second quarter, giving Parkland a 13-point lead at the break. She can do it all. The volleyball court, basketball court, doesn't matter. That was en route to the 48-30 victory as the Trojans remained perfect in league play. The Stroudsburg commit quickly approaching 1,000 career points. Bethlehem Catholic is also unblemished in league play and has a player approaching a scoring milestone as well in CC Hernandez. The senior guard just three points shy of 1,000. They're dropping in a game-high 16 on Friday as the Golden Hawks handed Easton its first regular season setback in nearly three years. Hernandez knocked down a quartet of three balls, four of the ten made threes by Becca on the night. The Hawks soared to their third straight win and sixth in the last seven outings. Hernandez bids for 1,000 career points on Thursday at Emmaus. Easton, meanwhile, is 8-1 within the East Penn Conference. The Red Rovers were making it rain in their showdown with Nazareth early last week. 14 total three-pointers, 13 of which were splashed down by the team's senior class. Mallory Elias led the way with five triples and a game-high 17 points, while Ivelisse Cole knocked down a quartet of trays in the first half as part of Easton's 56-18 win over the Blue Eagles. Milestone career victory for East End coach Dave Lutz, the 200th of his career, 74 of which have been claimed by the class of 2024. Speaking of threes, we saw a pair of long-range buzzer beaters last week, the first at historic Rockney Hall, where junior Millie Wolf dialed in from long distance just before the halftime horn. Central just one win away from securing a spot in the District 4A tournament, while Nazareth was the first team to clinch a spot in Boys 6A. Doing so with a pair of wins over the weekend, the first made possible by this long distance J from Cena Ramin. The Blue Eagles down 53 to 50 with just seconds left in regulation when he races up the floor for uncorking this game tying tray. That forcing overtime with Liberty, but the offensive star for Nazareth on Friday was forward Owen Banghart, who tallied a career high 23 points as the Blue Eagles rallied for a 58 to 55 overtime triumph against the Hurricanes. The senior counted 16 points after halftime and accounted for all of the Blue Eagles scoring in the bonus session. Bangart's 23 points bested his previous career high of just 22 set just four days prior. The senior has now reached double figures in scoring 10 times this season. 11 and 4 Nazareth with a good test this Friday. They'll be taking on Pocono Mountain West. A lot of career highs. A couple of guys in the Colonial League turned in career performances last week as well. In Salisbury's Brian Gonzalez and Northwestern Lehigh's Eli Zimmerman. Gonzalez's career night came last Thursday against Banger when the sophomore registered 18 points in a 50 to 45 victory over the Slaters. It's the first time in his career that Gonzalez has reached double figures. Eight and seven Salisbury gets Palisades on Thursday. Meanwhile, Zimmerman nearly doubled his previous career high for points in a single game when he counted 19 in Northwestern's 60 to 42 win over Wilson. The junior knocked down a trio of trays as part of the career night. It's just the third time this winter that Zimmerman has reached double figures, the 19 points far exceeding his previous career best of 11 posted in a game during his sophomore season. Eli had himself a night. Finally, we are going to round out this week's top plays, not on the hardwood, but on the frozen surface, where Lehigh Valley Phantoms goaltender Cal Peterson offered up a save of the year candidate Saturday against Hershey. Facing a two-on-one, Peterson in desperation mode slides to his right with a double stack denying what appeared to be a sure goal for Hershey. That the best of 31 saves by the Phantoms netminder on Saturday.